software and computers, um, it used to be that that was just kind of a separate area of the world, but now software touches all these different things that you use. Um, I think if you look in everything, I mean, there's more phones and tablets and laptops and websites and everybody's on social media. And I mean, it's just all these different things and, and everything's just moving faster. So um, just being in a position to kind of understand that language that's going to be the, the future, I mean, um, I, think it's a, I think it's a good thing to do. It's absolutely crucial to know how to code and to understand how technology is built. Even if you don't choose to you know, make a living or be a full-time software developer, understanding how software works, which is something that affects everything around you from your purchases to you know, how you eat and just how everything works nowadays, it's really important to be able to know how it works so that you are not sort of a victim of other people's choices. It's important for these kids right now, starting at eight years old, it should be mandatory to be a citizen on this planet. Hey, whatever country you're from, to read and write code. You know, if you wait until you're an adult, you probably will never do it. I always felt like if I didn't learn how to program, it, it would be like not learning how to read. You know, the, the, the future would just be closed to me. When I think about what we're going to be teaching in schools 5, 10, 15 years from now, I, I definitely think that computer science, or at least basic programming, is going to be as important of a skill as um, being able to do basic reading and writing. Um, and I think we're going to look back and, and wonder why it took us so long to get to that point. <laughs>